Welcome back to Kerbal Space Program with Grizzly and the hard reality settings. Today I decided to try out something, uh, I've got a science mission that the scientist wants me to take another low space mystery goo sample. So I set up the rocket to do so, but based on the last test flight of this solid rocket booster, caster, I wanted to try to add in a rocket stage to accelerate the science package faster and see how much further down range we went. At the same time, I want to take the opportunity that if by chance I managed to get this thing in some kind of orbit, I took the orbit mission. I don't think that one engine by itself is going to achieve that, but if it does, I want to be able to collect the bonuses for it. So the main mission is to get into low space and collect the data. I'm bringing up the mission so that I can see at what point we will actually be at the proper altitude. And let's see if this thing works. If this works the second time, this is a viable launch mechanism to get into proper altitude. Then I just got to develop the second stage part. All right, engines on full. Launching in three, two, one, launch. We are on our way. Geez, we're uh, at one point we're up in the line to we're getting up to the line geez, right now. So this would be a very comfortable human like blackout at this point, which is why we need to work on the proper first stage for human insertion. We don't want to go into that red zone. Okay, the engine is burnt out. Keeping the fins on until we get out of the atmosphere proper. Still doesn't say low in space yet. But we're quickly getting to the, that mark right there, which should be at that point we'll be in low space. Also, I gotta figure out a way of getting this thing pointed correctly, because probably what's gonna happen when I light this up is just gonna go up to a higher suborbit. But that'll still be cool. I think I can ditch the launch. Yeah, I was gonna say it's gonna be just a little bit of a kick. But at this altitude, that little bit of a kick is a lot more effective than the big engine lower down. And we're actually going to get upwards of 265 kilometers in altitude. And getting quite a bit further down range. Okay, we are in low in space. So I'm going to find the mystery goo container and observe. Now all I gotta do is recover. Now the tumble phase starts and that'll help break us. I'm a little concerned, uh, kind of ballistic here, which is not gonna break us very fast. Although we are slowing down. 600 subsonic. Approaching that 5,000 altitude mark where I'll arm the airship for deployment. A 
for launching caster 3 set it at a little more of an angle hopefully low enough to get more of a flat plane but not too low that we go through too much aerodynamic stress have a sergeant missiles for the second stage there's three in the center and 11 on the outer ring fired sequentially ready for launch in three two one fire <laughs> Attempting caster 3 again, adjusted the launch angle, hopefully it won't require an atmosphere, added an atmospheric shroud around the stages, hopefully give it more stability. Again, uh, 11 sergeants in the outer ring, 3 in the center, and we will give her another go. again <laughs> maybe I'll make a blooper reel and you can see all the explosions Obviously, the kind of uh, so obviously, the kind of acceleration I'm getting on this first stage is too much for the science package. It's burning up and blowing up before it gets into space. So I have increased the attitude. Hopefully, it'll get out of lower atmosphere before starting a gravity turn. <sighs> so I blooper reel should be really funny. <laughs> Three, two, one. There is so there's a gravity. You can see it's slowly starting to pull down. I was getting way down to 45 degrees, way too early. And for our speed gap, it was getting too high in the lower atmosphere. I was Even here, it's getting a lot. We're still like we did the first time. Just a little more angle, a little lower, and we don't get through the atmosphere, and then that section heats up too much and blows up. So I'm going to keep the fins this time. Orbit. Suborbital flight. 
Apogee's at about 133. Getting ready to launch second stage. Launching now. There's no attitude control. However, we are going higher. I'm going to let go of those boosters. I don't want to make it any worse. space. Time to do that mystery goo if I can find it. Okay, we got our science experiment. And I just need to recover. I'm coming down off our high. Should be re-entering the atmosphere soon. Actually, technically we're in the outer atmosphere. And that's now our orbit looks like that. So the orbit's always centered around the Earth. But this is like really elongated. It'll be like if we were going way up in space and coming back down again. So the only part of the orbit is the very top part. So you always make our, even if you jump up in the air, technically you make your orbit because the Earth is moving sideways when you jump straight up. Cool fact. Atmosphere is starting to get us a wobbling. Now it should help us with the deceleration. You see our speed down here. Well, several times the speed of sound at the moment. Every time it wobbles, it really kicks the G-forces up because it gets more drag. This is how SpaceX is proposing the new spaceship to come down. It's basically belly flops through the atmosphere. The tail fins actually just add to keep it in an attitude that it's like a giant skydiver coming down. We'll use the atmosphere to slow us down. So now we're in a controllable descent. Hopefully this time our parachute we deployed is armed. It should auto deploy at 5,000 I think, but we're going to be ready to hit the deploy chute. Last attempt didn't go so well, and we ended up smashing into the ocean. But that was because the uh, rocket booster underneath was still attached. I made sure I got rid of that this time. So I do need to figure out stabilization and just how to point the thing. Up oh, there it goes. Just on five thousand. Parachutes shoots at 5,000 feet deploy and they actually make a kind of a drogue shoot. They don't fully deploy until it gets down around the, I think, 100 feet arc. Accelerate a little bit because this takes a while. And there it goes. That's about 750. Other parts are splashing down. Slowly coming down 7.9 meters a second. A comfortable rate. I always try to go to normal time when it's splashed down, otherwise, sometimes it fixes the physics of the physical a success, but not without some trial.